Hey everyone, it's Daniel from VoiceLow here with a feature that I know a lot of you have been waiting for, and that is the ability to embed your web chat within your web page. So we did this in a way that's pretty flexible. So you can choose to embed it within an element on your page. So you can see here, I've got a box. I'm going to actually put the web chat in here, or you can just have it actually take up the whole body of your page and go full screen. Now, the way to do that is first off, let's go over to our VoiceLow project. So we're going to do, to do this, you're going to use the same method we do for custom CSS is we're going to add a line to our web chat right underneath this version ID. So normally for your website, you just copy the whole thing over for the purpose of this demo. I'm just going to take the script because I'm just going to show you how to, how to render it, but let's go over to our website here, inspect, go to our console and let's just paste this in. Now we want to add the line under production. So let's go over to our documentation and you'll see here that in embed the web chat, it gives you the snippet that you're just going to copy and paste. So let's copy this. And in here, I'm going to make a comma beside production. I'm going to hit shift enter. And I'm going to paste the new snippet underneath. So render embedded and just get rid of this last comma here. So we should be good to go now. Now the two, there's two ways to do it. So the first one is pick the element ID that you want. So I want to embed it first within this square. So let's go ahead and see what the ID of the square is. So if I click on the square, it says ID is called blank state. So let's copy that, go to my console. And instead of flat chat here, I'm going to replace this with blank state. So let's hit enter. And there you go. So now our web chat is embedded within that screen. Uh, super cool. And you can see that the bubble actually stretches. So it makes it pretty dynamic. Now you can set the auto start to false or true. And this just tells it if it's going to actually just auto start when someone comes onto the page or if it's going to wait for them. Uh, and it's kind of going to look like this starting chat. So this, that's method one is you just pick the ID on the object that you want to put it in. So this is great if you have a specific box on your page that you want the web chat to go in. The second method is targeting the body. So rather than actually picking a specific element ID like we just did, we're just going to delete this part here and go document.body. So now it's just going to fill the whole body up with the web chat. So if I hit enter, Bam. You can see that now I have a full screen web chat. It stretches to the length of my screen. The bubbles also stretch. So if I type something in and say, hello, you're going to see that my bubble is smaller. Um, and the way we've set it up is that the AI bubble goes hundred percent and the, the user bubble goes to like 80%. So I'm going to say, this is a long message. Let's just copy this to show you what this looks like. Great. So there you have it. Um, so this is going to be great, especially if you are uh, embedding things within your flows. So if you've got an iframe you want to do, um, or you're properly kind of formatting your text, this is going to make it look a lot better and a lot more natural. So uh, if you have any questions, just head over to our developer doc. So that's developer.voiceflow.com, and you'll see the instructions for embed web chat right here. Uh, and yeah, let us know if you have any other questions. We'll see you in Discord.